So let's create a container, convert it into a template, use that template to make another container or as many as you want with that one template next on Low Res DIY. Okay, we're looking at a fresh install of Proxmox. The only thing that I've done to this uh, system so far is obviously install Proxmox and I updated it. But before we get started creating our container, I got to get rid of this, this white, god-awful, ugly background. And the way we're going to do that is with this code right here from GitHub. It's a pretty, pretty simple code. We just want to copy our wget command there. Go to the shell of your node. Right click. Paste that in, hit enter, go back, grab this bash command right here, right click, copy, back to your proxmox, and hit enter. Oh, bash not found, so let's app install bash. Oh, I didn't get the B, that's why. It doesn't know what ash is. Theme has been installed, so let's go ahead and reboot the system. Okay, now that the system is rebooted, you can see we have dark mode, which is way better than that really bright white. So let's get around to uh, creating our container. But before we can actually create it, we need to download a template which is basically the operating system that the container is going to use. So you want to go ahead and hit your local PVE container template and you want to hit templates. Now Proxmox has a lot of different ones already set up, saved for you. A lot of turnkey stuff. If you want to just jump in and, and start using a, a whatever app they might have uh, here in the turnkeys. But I'm going to use uh, my favorite Ubuntu 20.10. Going to download that. Go download that. Excuse me. Click on it. And see if we can move up. Let's uh, change our size here. And we want to click download. Give it a few minutes to download. All right, now that our template has finished downloading, we can go ahead and create our container. We're going to go up to the upper right and click on this button that says Create CT or Create Container. Let me move this over here out of the way. All right, it's going to be ID number 100. I'm going to call it Ubuntu 20.10. I'm going to make it a privileged container. Give it a password. And then we're going to click Next. Uh, local storage is good and Ubuntu 20.10 is the template we want to use. Click next. I'm going to leave uh, most of this stuff as the default. So eight gigabyte of RAM, one core, 512 uh, megabytes of memory and the swap. And let's go ahead and give it an IP address of let's say eight, nine. And my gateway is 1.1 and we'll click next. We'll leave it as the uh, use uh, host settings for the DNS server. Click next and we want it to start after creation and then we'll click finish. All right, now that the container has finished building itself, we'll give it a second and it'll start up for us. Looks like it's already started. Yep, already started up. Let's log in. And the first thing we're going to do is an apt update and an apt upgrade. And yes. Okay, now that we have we have a completely up to date container uh, using Ubuntu 20.10 as the operating system. Now I want to. There's a couple other commands I want to go ahead and install that I use quite frequently, which is apt install curl and apt install net dash tools okay both of those are installed what we want to do now is we're going to shut the shut the container down 
okay once it completes shutting down we're going to we're going to convert this to a template so let's right click on the container and we're going to go down to convert to template click on it and yes we do want to convert it and i don't know if you can see it or not but there's like a little paper looking thing behind our container icon and that that just says that it's been converted to a template so now that we have a fully up-to-date template of Ubuntu 20.10 with a couple of uh, extra tools that I like to use we can use this template to create however many containers we want the way we do that we right click on it and we hit clone and it's now going to change the ID to 101, give it a new name, let's call it test. And I don't want a link clone, I want a full clone. And then we'll click clone. And you'll see it'll start creating it right here. Now that the new container has been created, there's a couple things we're going to want to do before we start it up. And if we click on network, You'll notice that the IP address is the same as the one we assigned to our, our uh, template. So we're going to click on that. We're going to edit it. We're going to give it a new IP address. I'm just going to call it 88. Click OK. And then we can go to resources. And you can change these to whatever you want. So let's give it, let's say, three cores instead of one. And let's edit our memory and give it two gig of RAM instead of the 512, 512 megabytes. And you can adjust these however you want for whatever you want to use the container for. But now that we've done that, let's go ahead and start it up. Log on. All right, now that it has started, let's go ahead and run that app update again. And you're going to see that, let's spell that right. And you're going to see that uh, everything is up to date. And that's because our template is completely up to date. So now we have a template of Ubuntu 20.10. We've started a container with that template. Let's say, but let's say you, you don't want to use Ubuntu. You want to use Debian or something like that. Well, you can always go back to your local uh, PVE. Click on your CT templates. Click on templates download another template you want debian download it just click download it'll start downloading it follow the same steps except you choose debian instead of ubuntu and you'll have a debian container all right job done way to go before uh i sign off i want to go back and and just give this a uh, wheelie bite i guess is his name uh Props for coming up with this dark theme for Proxmox. It, it really cuts down on that bright glare that I, I don't think most of us care for that, that full white background. We prefer a dark mode. So that's awesome. Thanks, dude. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, like I said, job done. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Click the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.